have a mind. And in that mind, you can conceive ideas, thoughts, or emotions. But they're only yours. Only you can tinker with them, play with them, or feel them until you decide to release them into the world through communicating. Communication is what connects us with other minds and other ideas. We share our ideas with others and connect with them. They share their ideas with us and connect with us. Without communication, we would become alone with our thoughts. And sadly, that's exactly what's happening in our world today, and we hardly recognize it. In 1564, William Shakespeare is born. He is widely regarded as the greatest writer of all time. He used such vivid language and diverse vocabulary that I find it difficult to understand him. <laughs> Every word he wrote was carefully chosen to clearly convey his message. In fact, he considered the English language to be too limiting. So he invented 1,700 new words so he could say what he wanted to say. Across an ocean, 200 years later, give me liberty or give me death, Patrick Henry demanded of the Virginia Convention in 1775. Using the power of words as an orator, he drove people to action, to revolution. Only one year later, the Declaration of Independence was signed. It's not quite as challenging to follow as Shakespeare, but it's still written with elegance and passion. The entire first paragraph is 71 words, but it's only one sentence. In 2014, the average sentence length for what is considered quality writing is 15 words. In our daily communication, we often use texting or Snapchatting, in which we don't use complete sentences or whole words, LOL, BRB, K. <laughs> Meaningful communication is slowly dying. Even when speaking face to face, we use words that are simple and shallow. Instead of painting that vividly beautiful picture in the minds of people we communicate with, we have a habit of filling space with empty words. It seems to me that there are three black holes sucking the life out of communication. They are um, you know, and like. <laughs> um, here is an example of these three words that are like devastating to communication. They like completely distract from uh, the thoughts and ideas you are like trying to convey. It doesn't sound like convincing or um, have any meaning, you know? Eradicating these three words, um, you know, and like, will immediately make you seem more intelligent and transform the way you communicate. Then you will have the power to speak with persuasion and be understood. Then you will have the ability to be clear and concise so your message is heard. Then you will be a part of the revolution. Therefore, I dare you to depart taking my challenge. Banish those expressions from your vocabulary and revive the age of powerful communication, you know. <laughs>